better to use your hand only. Um. <laughs> you put in the inside. Oh my god. Okay. Oh wait. Hey guys, it's Jessica here and welcome to the third episode of our Kabao series. Right now, as you can see my background, I am right here at the public market of Tanai. For today's video, I'm going to be working as a palenque vendor for a day. As an archipelago with around 7,640 islands, the Philippines is blessed with an abundance of marine resources. One of those that have truly benefited most Filipinos is fishing. Fishing has been an important source of livelihood for many Filipinos, and the Palenque or public market is the major trading center for these goods. There are thousands of public markets in the Philippines where people can buy fresh and cheaper produce. However, the pandemic has vastly changed the way we shop. People now prefer to do their weekly grocery shopping through an app or social media, including when buying meat or fish. Still, this has not completely shut down the local public markets. Compared to supermarket chains, fishing vendors in the Palenque still offer cheaper and sometimes better quality of seafood. To shed light on the people that are the backbone of our economy and to highlight the vibrant culture of Filipino wet markets, today I'll be working at Tanay Public Market with Nanay Lillian, who has been working day in, day out for 20 years to provide for her family. Ako po si Lilian Vista, tindera ng isda. Dito lahat ng gagaling yung lahat mula sa sapon, ito hanap buhay na yung mag-asawa. Lahat ng anak ko nakatapos ng pag-aaral ng dahil sa pagtitinda. Dati meron kaming sarili sa sakyan, nagbumibiyahin ng malabon at saka yung isang klase sa impanta. Yung una sa gabi pagbiyahe, 8.30 ng gabi. Dahil sa ng mga gamit papuntang Malabon, alis namin yung mga 10 o'clock. Tapos darating ng mga 3 o'clock sa palengke yun, madaling araw. Yung anak ko ang kasi medyo tumatanda na. Kaya kami gumigising kami mag-asawa ng alas stress ng gabi. Pumunta kami palengke, tutulungan namin si Apo doon sa uwi niyang isda. Yung sa Impanta, di deliver lang sa amin. Sa Malabon, pinakamaliit na puhunan, 100,000 a day. Kompleto yun, may hipon, may alimasag, may ibang klase isda. Minsan, ang ganda kita kapag uh, depende sa panahon. Mayroong panahon na maraming isda na mura ang kuha namin. May panahon naman na katulad dito, bagyo. Mahirap ang isda, mahal ang isda. Kaya hindi para pala sa kita anak, pero okay lang may hanap buhay. Sa katulad namin, talagang hindi nawawala ang competition. Kaya lang, kanya-kanyang diskarte yan eh. Alam mo naman ang competition, gagalingan mo nalang pag uwi na isda. Pipili ka ng naiba sa kanila. At saka kami, may regula, sumayon na kami katulad ng mga restaurant na malalaki. Kasi matagal na kami sa palengki, kilala na kami magaganda ang amin uwi. Isa na lang ang tauhan namin ngayon. Dati tatlo. Bukod yun sa madaling araw, may tauhan kami. Ihila lang isda. Bukod ng bayad dun eh. 500 din yun. Yung tindero namin, whole day yung 500 din ang bayad. Libre ang pagkain, pati ulam. So, I'm honestly very nervous because apparently there's a lot of people inside because it's morning time. Let's go ahead and learn how to be a palenque vendor for a day. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Super raw palenque vibes. Hi, Jessica. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Jessica. I'm Vivian. Tagal po kayo dito sa palenque magfish. Almost 20 years na. <gasps> Selling fish. Same place? Yeah. Oh my god. I have to learn how to be like you today. Okay. So what should I know? This one, they ask to to clean. Like okay. this, you cut the tail, and then you open this one, you remove the gills. Okay. And then sometimes the customer asks you how many slices, and then you remove the instantly. Uh, do you think I am? Yes. You, right away? You, you hold this. Oh, okay. I will teach you how to remove that. Okay. This is my oh, apron? They, yes. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Pa, no Sample, the customer wants to buy this tulinan. Tulinan? Yes. This is nice to cook the coconut milk. Oh! Parang Nicolano. Okay, yes. Chocolate. You remove the gills like this. Okay. And then, 
you ask the customer what, what they, they want to do. How many pieces? If the customer said four pieces, you, you slice it. Mm. Oh, four pieces. And then you remove the stomach. Okay. okay. Uh, the, the okay. Stomach. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. And this one is matambaka. Matambaka? Oh, yes. This came from Infanta also. Mm. Very fresh. Same this one. Mm. You remove also the gills, like you cut this for, so that we easy to cook, mm, right? Okay. So this one, you don't cut the head out? No more already. Just one piece Yes. Now. We have the lakam bukit. The lakam bukit. Yes. You remove the skin, ah. like this. And then you cut the tail. And then you remove also the gills, like this. Okay. This is more good for also to fry. This one, uh, Gigi. You remove also the gills and the stomach. You open the, or you remove that. If... <laughs> Wait, so you do, you only start cutting when they start ordering? Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So mama, oh, yeah, cutting okay. when they order. Okay. For example, this is a customer. Uh -huh. They want to buy in okay, okay. this bigger, bigger one. Uh -huh. Uh, how much? 300. 300. You just put it there? Uh, yes. You put in the tree. How much is this? 306? 306. And then what's the Six pieces. Six pieces. You cut first this. Tail. And then you cut in six pieces. You want? Six, okay. Six pieces? Yes, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, kulang. One, two, three. Not four. enough. Ah, okay. <laughs> Begin. Okay, one. Okay, one, two, three. Ah, three. Here? You should that it is six pieces. Okay. Four. One more. Five. You like this. Oh. Ah, okay. So then you can cut it easily. <laughs> five. Uh, and then? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You remove the fin. Mm -hmm. This one like this. Ah, remove the fin. Yes. Okay. You remove the gills also again. Ah. Where's the gills? Here. Ah. Are you sure you are safe? Remove here, here. Like this. You already good? Okay. Put in a plastic. Give to the customer. Where is the customer? Where is the customer? So how do you check the prices of each product? You just weigh it right away? Huh? You weigh it first so that you will know how, how much the kilo. This one 300 and this one is 180. That one 200 and this one is 200 also. 260. Like per kilo? Per kilo. 200 per kilo. Ah, 300, 180, 200, 160. 200. Per, uh, 200 then. And okay, 260. Okay. 260 to 100. 100. Okay. We know it's because of the tag. We have a tag. Ah, okay. every, in every okay. kind of piece, we have a tag. Oh, thank you. Wait, what? How many kilos? Po? 50? How many kilos? Ah, 100. You put the price 260. Okay, enough. Dalawa lang? Enough already, not ah, yet. 100 pesos. You put some more, some more. One more, one more. Nana, that is 127. 130. Okay, na. Okay, na. Ah, wait, so you, you don't want to cut? Uh, sometimes you don't want to cut. It's okay. Oh, don't it's cut. A, depend upon the customer. Thank you, Po. I'm not good at cut, getting the gills yet. If you don't want to use the bolo, yeah. just use in your hand only, just like this. It's better to use your hand only. Um, You put in the inside. Oh my god. Okay. Oh wait. Alright guys, so now that I've learned how to sell and how to like trim the fishes and everything, now we're gonna start selling. Oh. And then I you put oh you put there. And then you want in a tooth, okay. 86, 86. pesos po. Ah, po what do you want to do? Makot, hindi na lang. Okay, okay. Just put in a plastic. Okay, oh. 
Wait, so it's 86. How much? Okay. And then she paid 100? Or okay. how much did she pay? 50, di ba? Ah, he give me later. Uh, so you, kai pigan kayo. Oh. Ah, so okay lang mga utang. Ano ang gusto mo po? Gusto mong tutulingan. Vlog yan. Bili po kayo. So parang the small is the. They don't ask to cut anymore. Oh, yeah. As of now, we Hello. have most many customers because of the weather. Ah, this is a lot now. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, 160, 260 per kilo. It's very hard to sell, but it's enjoying. Yeah? You enjoy, you, you enjoy it? Yes. Bang, kaibigan kayo, daming customer. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yes, my regular customer, 300. 300. 300. They know the fish is, is delicious. Sa yes, three. Okay, now 350. 350 po. Okay, you want? They want to cut. Ah, okay. Pilang piraso po. Regular slice. That's the regular slice. Okay, just like that. Alam po. 200 pesos per kilo. 2, di ba? 2? 66. Gusto mo i-cut? Or, okay lang. Okay. Change is 40. Thank you. Ate, parang yes. basa. Because of the water. It's okay lang. Okay lang. Okay. In Palenque, right? It's not just the ate cutting the meat, but there's another step. Anong pangalan? Jerome. Jerome? You can do this, like this. Ah, sorting out the fish. Yeah. Parang this is way easier. Yeah. Para, para maganda? Yeah. Ang Tagalog, ayusin yung isla. Ayusin Ang yung isla. Yeah. You can try, go. No, push. Uh, another. This story is scoop out the yeah. fish tank. Mm. You can then place it. Ah, I use it nang is that. Can you help? Ah, lamig! <laughs> Wait, ah, oh, my hand. So lamig! It, it's just hard, the, the knife. It, it's hard. This one really needs technique. You know? Ah, it's hard to make it. 80 per kilo, po. You, one eight. Okay, it's already. 255, 250 na lang po. Ay, very good. Two. Anong gusto mo? Cut clean? What do you want? How many pieces? Dalawa? Dalawa? Regular? Iwai na ba? Three pieces. Okay, very good, Jessica. You know how to approach. <laughs> Jessica, what's the name of the YouTube? Uh, Jessica Lee. One nine nine po. One ninety na lang. Ano ang gusto mo po? Mga pieces. Slice. Slice. How many pieces? Okay, he wants okay. five pieces. Five pieces. How? Uh, what's Jessica your name? Po, Jessica. Jessica. Ayaw siya. Okay, more is, is this one pa. Oh, wait, 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 wait sorry. Hello. Ayan, tulingan. Hello po. Mabili po tulingan. kayo. 180 po per kilo. 180. 144, 140 na lang. Oh, very good. Ilan pieces gusto mo po? Balot lang. Ah, balot. So, in this one, okay. lang. Okay. One forty. One forty. Eight sixty. Give what there? They ask what is tuna. The tuna is this. Ah, the added tuna? Oh, yes. Ah, three hundred. Four forty. Slice now. So sometimes they just give me 200 and we just pick 200 no. worth. Ah, okay. 240 yon. 244. 250. Ah, 250. 
You remove the small one. That one, yes. Two fifty. Ano gus? Clean. Yela kan tulis nang nai. Sariwa po, sariwa. Ito po. Thank you po. Ninety po, ninety. Ilan po gusto mo? Ito na po. Dalawang. Pabaltang po ba yung malaki? Pabaltang, oh, you remove that bigger one. Ah, no, more, no, more, okay. One, one, five po. Sige po. Okay, one, one, ten. Oh, you want to try? Oh my God. Yes, you try. Cut? Yes, cut into two, and then you remove the gear. Uh, matuto lang ko, paano magpalengke, sis? Yeah, first time ko dito sa Tanay. Thank you, Paul. Alright, guys. So it's been a while since I started working, and it's time to sum up. Grabe ate, sobrang hirap. At sa kaya sobrang mahirap pang ano? Gills. That was the hardest for me. Pero yeah. Pero just a little bit, you know, it's already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I give you 500 to your oh. fee. Okay. Ito po yung ano? Sweldo. Salary. Sweldo. Uy, okay. gano'ng grabe 500. Okay, thank you po ate. I don't know if you guys were able to see, but when I was learning, I was already like shaking because it's not common for me to really touch like raw fish you know that's not cut or cleaned at all like and then you just hold it and then there are so many ano fin yeah. it was so sharp and then i was like getting all hurt like i have all the marks right now and when she was teaching me how to cut the fish it was so hard like i was like gonna hurt myself already so i knew that ah this is a job where i cannot learn in a day overall though it was really fun you know i feel like really it was really different from other selling jobs as well because you have to measure in kilos and you have to memorize really all the prices. Putting the fish inside the plastic, because that's the easy part. <laughs> oh, the fish! You know, it, it feels weird that, you know, I, like, I just did it because I had to. But you know, it feels like, and it's so sharp and like, oh, it feels weird. And it's taking out the gills and everything. Okay, so like, there are palenques in Korea as well, right? And, but then, here I was actually shocked because I was observing how the customers were ordering and just like in the whole episode how the kuya had suke. The ate had a lot of suke as well, so it's like a very friendly vibe. Korea I guess it's like that also in the province, but nowadays like in the in Seoul Palenque, it's not like that at all usually. Also, I was shocked that the customers are actually pick, picking the fish themselves with their bare hands. I, I was really shocked with that because usually people don't want to dirty their hands right in the market, but so they were actually picking it and then they had their own like recyclable bag which is something very humbling to see Alright guys, so that was it for the third episode and it was the hardest in a way that it was most challenging mentally and physically like witnessing all the raw fish and just the vibe here, it's very crowded but then I was really happy to feel the happy vibes, you know how there are such things as regular customers, they say hi to each other, and it's not like everyone's co competing to each other. So I really like warmth that I was able to feel in this palenque. And I, I don't know if I'm gonna be seen in super maarte for not being able to touch the fish well, but that means that I have to pay a lot of respect to a lot of the palenque vendors out here who actually does this every day for the whole day. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hindi ba? Nakahiya? Hindi ba?